Hello my friends, I am Petro from Gulian Technology. In this video I would like to share you some useful commands that you can use in your daily activity for testing the networking stack on your Linux machine. So make sure to watch to the end, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and visit my website gulian.uk. Let's get started. I will start by answering the question how can I find the IP address of my Linux machine. In order to find the IP address of your Linux machine, you have a couple of possibilities. You can open a terminal and run the command IP address show. In this output, you can find the interfaces that are available on your machine. You have as you can see from this output, I have a loopback interface. This interface is present on every Linux host, the loopback interface. And I have also two physical interfaces, ENS33 and ENS37. Also, I have a Docker interface because Docker is installed on this Linux host. What else can you find in this output? In this output, you can find a lot of information. You can find if the interface is up or down by checking the state of the interface. As you can see, this interface is in a down state. This one is in an up state. You can find the IPv4 address and also the IPv6 address. The IPv4 address for this interface is 192.168.1.140. And the prefix length is slash 24. In dotted decimal notation, the subnet mask would be 255.255.255.0. Here you can also find the broadcast, uh, broadcast address, which is in my case 192.168.1.255. As I mentioned, we can find also the IPv6 address, which is configured on your machine. On my machine, I do not have a global IPv6 address, I have only a link local IPv6 address which is automatically configured on your machine. The link local address is, is, is starting with the uh, FE80. Every link local address is starting with FE80 and it is used only on the local link for communication between uh, two hosts. In, the, in this output, you can also find the physical address or the MAC address. The MAC address for the interface is here under the link slash Ethernet, which is 000C29 colon DB8 colon 1B and colon DA. Uh, what else can you find in this output? You can find the maximum transmission unit which is 1500 bytes, which is normal for an Ethernet interface. Another useful command which displays a similar output is the if config command. Here we can, have, we can find a similar output. What else we can see here that is not present in the output of the IP address show command is the statistics for each interface. As you can see, I can see the number of the transmitted packet of the received packets. Rx is from the received received packets and the number of bytes received over this interface. I can see if there uh, are any errors or any dropped packets. We can also see the transmitted packets, the number of transmitted packets and the number of bytes transmitted over this interface. The Next question that I will help you to answer is how to check the routing table of your Linux machine. You can find this information in a couple of modes. You can run the command IP route. Here you can see the routing table which is present on the Linux machine. The default route 0.0.0.0/0, and it you uh, you can send traffic to the default gateway. This is the default gateway 192.168.1.1, and it is reachable over the interface ENS37. 
we have uh, the local address the local cider range 192.168.1.0 which is also reachable over the interface ENS37 this is the uh, PIP, uh, PIP, adre uh, PIP address which is the IP address which is automatically configured on the Linux interface in case the DCP is not working and there is a network which is used by docker a different command but with which you can see a similar output is the command route here it is written as you can see kernel IP routing table and we can find here the same information as in the previous command if you add added option dash n the names are translated to the IP addresses instead of names you can see the IP address as you can see we have the same information this is the default route this is the default gateway this is the local subnet 192.168.1.0 and it is reachable over the interface ENS37 and the default gateway is also reachable over the interface ENS37 the third command that you can check in order to check the routing table is the netstat-r command this command netstat utility is not installed by default on your linux on all the linux distributions but if it is you can check the routing table with it by running netstat r this the output as you can see is similar to the route command the next question that you can ask yourself and for which i will help you to, uh, to to find the answer is how you can check if your linux host has connectivity to the internet for this it's a simple like running a ping command in order to check if your host has connectivity to the internet you just need to select an ip address from the internet and run a ping command i will use the ping and i will specify the command uh, the option dash c with each you specify the number of packets that you want to send i will send four packets and i will try to reach the google dns server which is 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 .8. i am able to reach the google dns server let's try to reach another host from the internet i will try to reach the Cloudflare DNS server which has the IP address 1.1.1.1 I'm also able to, to, to reach the Cloudflare DNS server Let's try one more test I will ping the Cisco Umbrella DNS server I will send two packets and I will add the IP address for the Cisco Umbrella DNS server which is 208.67.222.222.222 and let's see if I'm able to reach that host based on the information that it is displayed it seems that I am able to reach the internet I transmitted two packets and I received two packets there is 0% packet loss and it took 1002 milliseconds to the, uh, the to reach the this host there here we have some statistics we have a round trip which the minimum round trip the average and the maximum and based on these statistics you can uh, figure it out if there is uh, a lot of latency between your host and the internet uh, host that you try to reach now if for example you are not able to to, to reach the internet uh, the next step that you need to check is you need to check if you are able to ping your default gateway you need to check if your default gateway is up and running as i showed you earlier the default gateway on this machine is 192.168.1.1 let's uh, pretend that i have a issue with the internet i will disable the interface ens37 and i will try to reach a host from the internet as you can see the host the network is unreachable this is because I disabled the interface 
Normally, when you try to reach a host on the internet and you do not have uh, connectivity to the internet, your defo default gateway will show you a message, sim uh, a message which says destination net unreachable. Let's enable back the interface and let's ping the default uh, gateway to see if it is up and running. Right now I am able to reach the default gateway so this means that the local connectivity, the local uh, connectivity to my default gateway is working fine and I am also able to uh, test to reach the internet. If there is, if I am not able to reach the internet and I am able to ping my default gateway, the next step in troubleshooting is to check the default gateway. You, you need to, to check the, that the link between your router and the ISP is up and also when you check your default gateway you need to, to ensure that the default route is present on the router. On, on the router. Next thing that I would like to show you and I will help to, 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 to troubleshoot is how, how to check if the DNS resolution is work, working properly on your Linux host. You can use the same ping command. If you try to browse the internet and you discover that you are not able to open any URL, you need to check that the DNS resolution is working as it should on your Linux host. As I mentioned, in order to check the DNS resolution, you have multiple options, but you can use the ping command for this purpose also. If I try to ping my website, gulian.uk, right now, as you can see, I am able to reach it and the resolution is working fine. The name gulian.uk is translated to this IP address. You can use, it, uh, instead of ping, you can use the command dig, which is a, a command that helps you to perform DNS lookups. You can run the command dig gulian.uk and this command will return the IP addresses, the A records, the IP addresses which are uh, configured for this domain name. Right now, as you can see, the domain name gulian.uk has configured two A records. Both of them are for IPv4. And these are the IP addresses which are allocated to the web server, web server which is running my website. A different com command that you can use for testing the DNS resolution is nslookup. And you can run the nslookup.uk and you'll see a similar output. Here we have the name, the domain name which is gulian.uk and here is the address, the IP address of my domain name. We have two records as you can see. Right now the DNS resolution is working fine. In order to uh, to, to, to simulate a, a DNS resolution failure, I will uh, try to I will disable the interface and I will perform a nice lookup once again. Right now we see that the server can find boolean.uk and if I perform a ping command you will see something similar when the DNS resolution is not working fine. Temporary failure in name resolution. When you see this information uh, is this message you need to check if the dns server is configured correctly on your linux host and you need to test also if you are able to reach your dns server for checking the dns server which is configured on your machine you can run the command cat slash etc slash resolve.conf here we have the name server in my case is uh, the 127.0.0.53. This is a def this um, this uh, file was automatically generated by systemd. If you want to see the DNS servers 
that uh, are present on your machine you can run the command resolve ctl status i need to enable the interface back and let's repeat the command resolve ctl those status and you will see that the dns server is 192.168.68.1.1 and uh, let's see if I'm able to translate a name Julian.uk and I will specify the server 192.168.1.1 the DNS resolution is working fine we can confirm this also by opening the web browser and opening a web page as you can see Julian.uk is working fine I am able to to open to 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 surf on the web the inter the dns resolution is working fine next the next thing that you can uh, check on your linux host is the arp table the arp table you can check the arp table on your linux host by running the command arp you can add also the command dash a to see the all the records and you can add the dash n to translate the name to the ip address arp stands for address resolution protocol this protocol maps an ip address a layer 3 address to a mac address a layer 2 address this protocol for example helps your linux machines to find the physical ip address the physical address sorry of your default gateway, the MAC address of your default gateway. Right now, the single record in the ARP table is the record for the default my default gateway, which has the IP address 192.168.1.1, and the MAC address, the layer two address, is d4 colon 35 colon 1d colon 0d colon 44 colon 7a that's it this is all that i wanted to share with you in this video you have learned how to check the ip address of your linux machine and explore the routing table you also discovered how to find the arp table and how to do some basic troubleshooting for the dns resolution these are valuable skills for networking troubleshooting and configuration i hope that by using this command your life will be easier when you have different network problems thank you for watching and until next time bye